Hi, it's Josie and today I'd like to share with you how I get a horse to walk on the lunge. If you're anything like me, in the early days I used to have my off-the-track thoroughbreds which I bought in the beginning that would be running around madly on the end of the lunge and, and I couldn't work out how to get them um, to walk. Now walking on the lunge to me is pretty important, especially with off-the-track thoroughbreds because usually their head's scrambled anyway and if you're letting them run around on the end of it you're just actually encouraging that behaviour. This is Dale, he is an off-the-track thoroughbred, he's been with me for a few weeks now. He's a little underweight I know guys but trust me when he got here he was worse. Um, and I've been doing groundwork with him to teach him um, some aids so that I can get him to walk on the lunge. Now he is usually, he's all right when he's up close with me like this, but when I put him away from me, I, I have not lunged him like I'm going to lunge him today, I promise. And I won't edit this, I will show you um, warts and all because that's what it's all about, because he truly is an off the track thoroughbred. Out of, he was in the paddock for a year, I think, before the people who sent him to me bought him. He hadn't, hasn't been ridden, but anyway, um, so I have taught him groundwork and one of those is to, to yield his hindquarters and move his hindquarters over which helps him to bend and slow down and soften in the body and in the mind. And I will be using that particular aid to help him to walk on the lunge. So I'm just, um, I've got a Sarita on him. I usually lunge, if I'm actually properly lunging horses, which I don't do a lot of, I do a lot of work on the circle on a rope, I use a Sarita because it gives me control of the pole of the horse which helps with bend. But I'll quickly show you what that exercise is. So the exercise for him is just to move his hindquarters over. Now he has not had this Sarita on so he might be just a little lost but that's okay. So he needs to move his hindquarter away and then when I give him that sort of aid he's to move it right over and stop facing me. Now we're going to use that when he's going fast. I'm going to get him to turn his haunches, which means he has to cross over his back legs, which will slow him down. I don't let them go out on the end of the lunge and run around like maniacs either. I keep them pretty close to me to start with. And you have to, they, they also move their shoulders because I want him to go out that way and not walk through me and he's the one that goes out on the circle. So this is new to him, this Sarita. And he's gonna go and trot now, and I don't want him to trot, so I'm gonna use that hindquarter yield and, let, and give it away when he walks, and I'm gonna do it again. I pull his nose a little towards me and let him go when he walks. I'm gonna do this until he walks quietly on the lunge. And you can see what happens with him when he straightens his body, he goes faster. I promise you I've not lunged this horse and he's not actually been in this arena at all. That's a better walk, but it's still quite a tense walk. Look at it guys, he's not soft. He's a bit tense and straight in the body, which means he's not, yeah. And when I can get him to bend a little, good. So that was just a subtle body language for him to move his hindquarter out a little and bend a little. Good boy. So I've got this boy to walk pretty well, but I'm on the lunge pretty quickly. I know some horses, I'm going to let him out longer and longer because the further away from me the, this horse gets, the worse. There. Sorry, I'm concentrating on what I'm doing as well. Turning that hind quarter away until he walks and then release the aid. And I do use uh, the shoulders coming in at me, so he's falling in on the circle. So you can't fix two things at once on a horse, guys. Don't try and fix the falling in and the speed at the same time. So I'm actually going to ask him to go out though. I want him to, yep, and that's, I don't, I have a speed, I had a go forward aid, but none of them are what it is. I teach this stuff in basic horse training, the academy. If you're interested, there will be a link in the description. You can go and have a look and see if it's something that you would like. Good. So, okay, he's not on a 20 metre circle, guys, but Rome wasn't built in a day either. That is my go now. That's it. Right, wrong way. So now I've got my, my intention 
asking him to go, yep, and I just didn't change my mind. I knew I wanted him to go that way and so did he. I don't want him to run though. So I move his haunches over. He can read my body language. Don't you worry about that. And I'm stepping in my rope here, which means I need to pick it up. Oop, I really am stepping in my rope here. And I will just make him walk, good. And then I'll let him out again. And when he goes to trot, I'll ask him to move his haunches over. I promise you, I'm truly training this horse here because he has not walked on the lunge before. He's not been lunged. I knew he would go fast because that's his makeup. Good boy. I've got no, um, no energy in my body at all. My body's very relaxed because if I pick up my energy, he will pick up his. And you cannot get frustrated. He's just being who he is. Be unfair to be cross with him. He's falling in here. I'd love to correct that shoulder, but if I push him out, he's gonna probably trot off. I'll let him, if he wants to go out, I'm happy for him to go out. I'll keep him at that length though. Good. And then he trots off, so I'm asking him to cross his haunches over and he may need to come in like he seems to need. I need to get shorter to get him to do it. That's okay, doesn't matter. So every time he goes off, I just ask him to come back to a walk because nowhere here have I asked him to T-R-O-T. Nowhere. I haven't done it with my body, done it with my voice, haven't done it with anything. That's better. That's much better. Good. So I'm keeping all my energy low because he's a very sensitive little boy. He'll pick it up on it. Good boy. He's a thoroughbred after all. Good boy, there we go. There's a nice little lick and a chew. Good boy, and a drop of the head a little. So the head's getting lower. Don't know if you can notice, but try and make a point to look at horses. His body itself is softening. The walk is still a little bit fast. And he trots off again. And you just, you cannot, you cannot get frustrated, guys. He's only doing what he thinks he needs to do. He's not being belligerent. He's not thinking he'll trot off and annoy the heck out of us. He is just doing what he feels he needs to do. I'm trying to bring him down this end a little bit. There you saw me, if, the camera, if he didn't block the camera, give him a little go forward aid. Good, and now I've actually got a little bit of connection with that um, lunge rein on his nose so I can get some pole control. It's a little bit like getting contact on the rein. Lunging should be, um, when you do it properly, should be, see I've got, can you see that from my, his nose to my hand now, I have a connection. So I can use my ring finger like that and bring his nose in, good boy. Still fast in the walk, but it is, he's having steps where it's slowing down. And I didn't explain, but I don't have a lunge whip in my hand because I used to, uh, that's better. Did you see him drop his head then, guys? And he started to just lose that real um, tenseness that he has in his body. Good boy. I'm just gonna stop him on the lunge. Whoops, not my fault. Stop him. Use my flag to help him know to stop there. Good boy, good boy. So there you saw that we only got, you know, a few circles, it certainly wasn't all, but that's how you build on it. Yeah, Rome wasn't built in a day. The horse isn't gonna be perfect on your first day lunging. And this is his first day in this arena with a Sarita on and with me on a lunge whip, asking him to go out like that. 
But if you are consistent and kind and patient, I promise you, your horse will learn to walk on the end of the lunge. If you're interested in learning some more about how I do this, there is Basic Horse Training Academy. There will be the link in the description. I would love to see you on the inside if you think it's a good fit for you. Thanks for watching.